So in this case, we're looking at using an inverse um, trigonometry function, so inverse sin, cos, or tan. And those we see written as sin to the negative 1, cos to the negative 1, or tan to the negative 1. Now the situations where we actually use these are when you're given two sides and you want to find an angle. So in this case, the angle is the thing that we don't know. So like the other problems with trigonometry, the first thing you'll want to do is identify two sides that are important to you. And if we look at this first example, the unknown angle here, we can mark it with an x. Let's figure out what the two sides that are important are. Well, I can see that the 11 is across from the 90 degrees, so I know that's the hypotenuse. And I can see that the 9 is actually across from the angle I'm looking at. It's opposite that angle. So it's the opposite. And since I have an O and an H, I'm going to use so, because it has an O and an H. So I can draw in my formula triangle here. So. And I'm looking for the angle. So since I'm looking for the angle, I'm going to cover up the letter S, because that's where the sin of the angle belongs. That's where the angle is that we're looking for. And with these triangles, we know that we can make a fraction, dividing whatever is on top by whatever is on bottom. So we're going to use the situation, and what happens is we're going to say x is equal to sin inverse. We have to use the inverse because we're looking for the angle. We're trying to find out what it is. An inverse of o over h. So that's going to be 9 divided by 11. And in this case, if we plug that into our calculator, you get 54.9 degrees. And the reason that we have to feed it an angle, sorry, the reason we're trying to feed it a side-side sandwich here, if you want to think about that, we're feeding it two sides as a fraction, is that it needs to compute with those sides to give the ratio to find out what the angle is. So again, here we're looking for an angle, so we're going to use the inverse functions. Let's take a look at the next example. The angle we're looking for is down here. We can label that x. We'll notice that this side length 8 is actually between the angle we're looking for and the right angle, and we're touching it, so that's going to be the adjacent. And the 6 there is all the way on the opposite side of the triangle. It's the opposite side. So in this example, because I have an O and an A, I'm going to use TOA, or tangent, because it is going to use the O and the A. So T, O, A. And again, we're looking for the angle here, so we'll cover this part up. And because we're doing that, we're going to use tan inverse. And the fraction we're going to feed it is the opposite divided by the adjacent. So in this case, 6 over 8. And plugging this into our calculator, we actually get 36.9 degrees. So again, I used tangent because I had the opposite and adjacent sides, and I was looking for the angle, so I used tangent inverse. One more example to look at, and here we have our unknown angle here, x, and I notice that I'm touching this 5, it's between the angle and the right angle, so it's actually adjacent, it's the adjacent side because it's touching the angle of interest, and the 7 is opposite of the right angle, so that's the hypotenuse, it's the longest side of the triangle. And then here we see we have an a and an h, so we're going to use cosine, or ka. Thinking about what we need, what we need is the angle, so I'm going to cover up the C, because we're looking for the angle inside of there. So x is going to be equal to cosine inverse, using the inverse, because I'm looking for the angle. And I'll give it a side-side sandwich here of adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So 5 divided by 7. And putting that into your calculator, you'll get 44.4 degrees. Now in any of these problems, if you happen to get the order wrong, for instance if I had done 7 over 5, you'll get a maths error in your calculator. So be careful to check that you've got the order correct. It's always the adjacent over the hypotenuse in this case, the thing in the top of the formula triangle over the thing in the bottom. And again here it was the opposite over the adjacent. And for so it's the opposite over the hypotenuse. So for these problems, I know that I was looking for an angle, I was given two sides, so I know I'm going to use trigonometry, and in this case the inverse trigonometry, because it is an inverse function.
to find the angle.